Hecuba is the story of the Queen of Troy, and we meet her at the end of a 10-year siege of Troy, uh, in which Troy has been defeated. So she's the deposed queen. We discover that her husband Priam, very famous king, famous for his nobility, has been killed by the Greeks. The Greeks have won the war, and we then see the effects of that war on Hecuba and her daughters, Polyxena and Cassandra. Uh, they're taken by boat as refugees to a place called Thrace on the coast. Uh, they get stuck there because the, there's no wind, so they can't, can't keep going. They want to take them all the way to Greece. And then a terrible thing happens where Agamemnon, the new king of uh, the Greeks, he's forced by his men or encouraged by his men to demand a sacrifice. They made a sacrifice of Agamemnon's daughter at the beginning of the war, and the men want another one now in order to get the wind to change and allow them to go home. So Hecuba then has to suffer the sacrifice of her daughter in front of her eyes, all the while thinking that her last remaining son, Polydorus, is still alive. All of her 18 children, apart from Polydorus, have then been killed as, through the war. And then we discover that the Greeks have killed him too. En route, an amazing relationship occurs between Agamemnon and Hecuba because they've both seen such terrible things. So in spite of the horror, there's tenderness and there's even a, a decent dose of humour. But it is a play that's about a really tough war and the effects on the women and children of what that war has done to a, to a civilization.